Hey guys, this is Computer Techie, and today I'm going to show you how to create a custom YouTube icon using GIMP. So first, go ahead and open up GIMP. And whenever it opens, make sure you have this Layers window. If you don't have it, go up to the top and click Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and Layers. Now move this window over to the side, and go up to File and select new. You want to change your width to 200 and your height to 200 and then select OK. Now you should have this white square in uh, the center of your page. If you want to make it bigger go down to the bottom left hand corner and zoom in to about 200 percent. Now uh, you want to blend two colors together so I'm going to blend black with my teal color that I normally use. Select OK. And I'm going to switch them by clicking this arrow button. Now click on the blend tool. Make sure your mode is normal and that your gradient is FG to BG. But change your shape to radial. Now you want to go to the center of your square by looking at the measurements on the top and on the left side of your screen go to about 100 on each one of them and then you should find the center of the square whenever you find the center click once and drag out then let go and you should have a blend like that you can keep changing it around by clicking and uh, dragging it out and let going uh, of the thing again just keep blending it until you like it and I think I'm gonna keep it like this now I'm gonna add a text layer so click on the A and create a rectangle just make a big rectangle in the center of the square now I'm going to type in CT because that is what I have on my icon my icon and I'm going to change it to a white and I'm going to change my font to my normal computer techie font here it is Now I'm gonna make my size a little bit larger and I think I'm gonna scale it just a second. Click on the scale tool if you want to. I'm going to move it into the center and I'm going to scale it up. So click and drag out and let go until you want it as big as you want it and then click save. Now I'm going to move it back into the center. Um, I think that looks good so now I'm going to go up to filters, light and shadow and click drop shadow and then click OK. And now CT has a drop shadow behind it. And I think that looks very cool. So I'm just going to right click on all my layers and click merge down into one layer. And that is what my icon looks like. I like it. So I'm going to go up to file, click save as, and then save it whatever you want. Uh, but be sure to type in .jpg after you type in the name. I'm going to save it onto my desktop and then click save then click export drag your quality to 100 and then click save so now whenever you close GIMP it should be located on your desktop and there it is there's my new YouTube icon um, I hope this video helped you out uh, if you have any questions go ahead leave me a comment or send me a message thanks